What is going on guys, it is your boy KingMLG back here with another video So today I made a ranked Skywars rant giving you guys my opinion on ranked Skywars So if you do like this video, please, please share this video around to spread some awareness I guess Because uh, I see a lot of positive videos, my one is a little bit negative on ranked So if you do agree that the update is bad, please be sure to share this video around That would mean a lot to me, so without further ado, let's get into it Bring back, bring back the summer So yes guys, Ranked has been updated, so today there's a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of you guys ask me, King, what do you think about Ranked? King, what do you think about the update? Uh, do you think it's a good update? Do you think it's a bad update? So uh, yeah, we're gonna just quickly go over my opinions, and uh, I've actually made a little bit of a um, schedule kind of thing, like like a notepad thing, where I can see what I want to talk about, because um, there, there's a lot going on here. So basically, for those of you who didn't know, we lived under a rock basically for the last like four days. Uh, Ranked Scarlet has indeed been updated, and there's been a lot of people talking about about it. I saw people like Extra Plays made a video about it, and these were all really positive. That was the first thing I saw. These videos were all very positive and very, uh, y you know, they, they went easy on Ranked, but but today uh, we're going to be dropping a big fat L on Ranked, because Ranked, in my opinion, has been completely destroyed. Um, so the first reason being is the rewards. I, d I, I don't know what they did or why they did this. But, but what they decided to do is change the rewards, even though there were at least like a few hundred people going for masters. I know a lot of people in my guild, uh, Sky Legion, obviously, were going for masters, and uh, they changed the rewards uh, when the season already started, a few days into the season, which means that some people were grinding for. Uh, a certain reward, for example, Blood Explosion, or uh, Dragon Rider Victory Dance, and this is taken away, which, in my opinion, is just retarded. You don't do that. You don't take away when the season already started. They should have uh, maybe uh, been given an option, like, do you want the new rewards or the old rewards? This is actually, um, I didn't thought of this, that was Zyph, uh, Zyphalopius, or whatever you... Uh, know him as uh, who talked about this with me in TeamSpeak and he said yeah Maybe that would have been a good option and I agree. Maybe that would have been a good option, but they didn't do that um, And they changed a lot of things when the season already started which is in my opinion really dumb Like you wait for the season to end you don't just change anything when the season hasn't ended yet And this round is actually really boring. Wow um, So yeah um, that, that was one of the things they added, and uh, hopefully I can talk about the next one in the next round, but it really depends on if we could kill this person here. So, uh, yeah, let me just kill him real fast, and then I'll see you guys in the next round, and then we'll talk about the next thing of the update. Okay, so they also added another thing, which is matchmaking. If you do not know what matchmaking is, it's basically a system where um, you get put in a game with people of your own elo level or your own skill level, which is obviously based on elo, and um, this makes you play against people of your own level, and this kind of makes it so you don't the be the uh, the like absolute top doesn't play against the new players, which would be kind of unfair, which is a good thing. Um, in theory, this is a good thing, and. Did, did, when you think about this, this sounds perfect, right? It's it's fair, whatever. So, yeah, in theory, this is good. But why, why I say in theory is because it it isn't really. Like, when you think about it, there's a lot of problems with this. There's a guy here as well. Let me kill him. I thought there was a guy there, so I don't know. He's gone, but, um, yeah. So, basically, this is a problem because... The waiting time is massively increased when you're high elo. Uh, I'm quite a high up there. I got 1.9k elo. Uh, the board is 2.3k right now. So I'm high up there, right? And it takes quite a long time to load. Um, I am a decent player. I see myself as a good to decent player. And um, obviously I have a lot of friends who are good at the game. Better than me. A little bit worse than me, you know around my same level and these people are not bad at the game and this is a problem right these two things combined is a problem you don't drain your friends at least i'm not a person that's gonna go in a fight with a friend in ranked skywars because you want to give them a chance to gain elo and they want to try to give you elo so it's not like cross team you just don't fight a friend right if you see a friend in your game i used to just leave 
out of respect. And now, you can't do that, because you can only fight like four people, because the rest doesn't either, either doesn't play the game. Or, they're not high enough level to get warped in your game. Which kinda, this is kinda dumb. It takes a lot, this actually increases the waiting time. And even, let's say I am in a game with AoE. Let's just say, me and him are friends, we both respect each other, so we don't want to fight, uh, and we one of us keeps leaving. Let's say there's five people online with our, our elo level, right? Let's say we're, we both have a thousand elo, and there's like two or three other people with a thousand elo. You need four people to start a game. Is that ever going to fill up? Those chances are highly, hi, like, highly unlikely. Like, it's so small of a chance that it's going to fill up, that it's going to take such a long time. And another thing is fans can target now like it, it's if they're the same skill level just you play against the same people over and over again and I've noticed when I played this because I'm obviously not gonna talk about something I haven't tested out yet but I see that uh, okay let me kill him there we go I'll talk to you about this in the next game actually uh, let, oh you know whatever let's just continue here so okay so as I've been saying I see that fans or the viewers of mine can actually find me really easily now and this is this is becoming a problem. This makes targeting and ranked a problem. Because you get put in a game with the same people over and over again, makes you really vulnerable to people that follow you around and those people want to kill you. They just want to kill, I don't know why that's the thing, they want to fight you, they want to kill you. I, I don't want that, I mean, I don't personally want to fight people that are like following me around and like that's annoying. If you you get what I'm saying. Uh, okay, sweat. There we go. Another guy. Okay, we good. We good. We good, fam. We did get a strength there. That's pretty good. See, I, I don't want to fight people like that. I don't know why. I just don't prefer... I, I prefer fighting people that I don't really uh, know, I guess. That, that just makes it more, like, fun. More fair. I don't want to drain friends, as I've said. And these, these things all add up, right? This kind of destroys the matchmaking system. Because the waiting time is massively increased. If I see a good, pl there's people I saw yesterday uh, that are friends of mine and know they're good, or people that I've heard of that are good. I don't play against them. I leave the game because I know I'm gonna either lose or it's gonna be really close, and I don't want that. Um, and you must, and y you don't do that. You don't. F I know that people that are play ranked awfully can agree with me. They can like confirm if there's a good player in your game or someone that's like sketchy or like. You, yeah, sketchy or whatever. You leave the game. That's what people do, and people will not just stop leaving because there's like a matchmaking system. Uh, and, and with safe zones that have been removed, it takes so much time. Yeah, you do gain double elo, but that doesn't make up for the fact that you take like forever to get into a game, and like there's so many problems. But I'll uh, talk about that in the next game, I guess. So another problem we have is that safe zones have been removed, and. You can get drained from 2k elo back to 250 elo because there's only one safe zone from 0 to 250 and I feel like this is, I don't know, I enjoyed the safe zones because the way I used to warm up for ranked was before I went offline I would make sure I grinded to a safe zone and then the next day I would play the safe zone and by the time I got out of the safe zone I would be ready to like actually play the game, like like properly play the game, and the the, the deaths I had in the start wouldn't really matter at that point. Oh my god, this guy's flying everywhere! Uh, get back here, you Mr. Frog! Oh my god, I I messed that up there. I messed that up really bad there. Whatever. So the the, the waiting time is increased, things like that. The, the, all these small things add up, and in the bigger picture, this is a big difference, guys. This is a big difference, which makes ranked so much harder to play and grind. And some people say, "Oh, I, I saw this on the forum as well." Jana the ring is fixed. It, it's really not. I've never seen so many sweats put together in one game, running and waiting and and, and, and like blocking like this, you know, like blocking and, and like. Spamming blocks, spamming snowballs, just to make sure they wouldn't lose their rating, and it's not gonna work. You don't put like 40 million sweats in a game and expect no one to janitor. All I see is people waiting. Games take twice as long now. Yeah, you get ender pearls. Yeah, you get trackers, but it doesn't matter. People are too like sweaty at the game nowadays, and this is a huge problem. And I don't think that something as matchmaking is gonna do any good. I don't think it's gonna do any good and it, it isn't doing any good in my opinion. It's totally uh, retarded if I can say that and uh, yeah.
cl cleaning is a problem guys cleaning is a big problem whenever I used to play yeah people try to clean me but they didn't really know what they were doing like most people didn't really know what they were doing they were under my skill level I guess I don't want to I don't want to sound cocky here but most people were under the skill level that I was on so they didn't really know what they're doing but if I fight someone that has like 10k wins he knows what he's doing he damn well knows what he's doing and he is gonna be able to clean me he's not retarded and if I play against a player that has four wins obviously I can outrun him but I can't outrun someone that's crazy good at the game like it's not gonna work and you might say oh this adds a competitive aspect to the game I don't think that competitive like oh you're just too bad like I feel like the old rank Skywars was mere more of a um, place where you actually had to sweat where you could do where you could be sweaty without that being a problem and now it's more of a cleanup wars um, making sure you don't get warped in a game with your friends um, leaving games waiting forever to get into a game then no safe zone so everyone sweats their balls off okay, okay if you get two kills you don't lose elo but you can't play you can't get two kills because you're gonna get cleaned by some other guy that's like a green plus every every player is basically like a green plus with like max style perks you you don't you can't like not get cleaned by that like it doesn't work like obviously there's these exceptions and i know what people are gonna say they're gonna be like oh maybe you're just bad or oh, that only happens to you i've played and i've asked friends i i asked uh, yesterday i was in ts with uh Opti and uh, Zyf and uh, someone else from my guild and we were talking about this and we were saying like oh this did I don't know we, we all have different opinions on the system and I was a bit salty I'm not gonna lie uh, but, but yeah everyone has their different view on this so I don't want to say that this is true for 100% facts by far but um, I do think this is uh, a solid opinion that I formed about this and uh, I don't know what you guys think. I want to really know that. I don't want to start fights in the comment sections. Please don't do that because I'm just going to remove your comment. I only want to hear your opinion, guys. Uh, and I think that's about it for today. This is my opinion on the Rank Scours update. So in conclusion for today, I do think the Rank Scours update ruined it. Because first of all, they changed the rewards mid-season. They, ch they changed a lot of things. When the season already started, that's what I mean with mid-season. I know it was only a few days in, but still... Um, matchmaking is totally ruining it, uh, adding waiting time, avoiding friends, friends can target you way easier than they used to be able to, and, and, and safe zones are gone, which, which is all things that make it, uh, make it so much different and harder, and, uh, not only that, I don't think harder in a way that you gotta try more, it's harder in a way that it's fun to play the game, and that's what I think about the Ranked Scourge update, so if you did enjoy this video, nevertheless, even though it was a bit, like, of a rant, uh, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.